Hey guys, welcome back to another Scratch Troll series. By the end of this series, you will learn how to make this clicker game in Scratch 3.0. Okay, so let's just get right into it. So as you can see, I can click, there are some effects, a score, a high score, and a shop with 4 items. And now we can just start coding. So we're going to start with a toast sprite, a background sprite with five toasts on top of each other, and another sprite called light effect with these cool light effects. And I've also got a blue background. So we're going to start coding the toast sprite. So we're going to say one clicked and then make three new variables. One is called score. The second is called score per click. And the third is going to be called high score. And this will be a cloud variable. And the message comes up, but just close it. So set score to zero. And also set score per click to one. Then we're going to add an effect. So forever, get an if then else block. If mouse down and touching mouse pointer. So basically, if you're clicking the sprite, change size by 30, and set brightness effect to 3. And in the next block, say, set brightness effect to 0. And set size to 1200%. That's just because my costume is small. You can change this if you want. So get out a repeat until block out. And repeat until. And get an or block out. And a not block. And put it in the second boolean. And also an and block. And in the first boolean we'll put an equals block. So repeat until size equals 1260. Just remember you can change these numbers around or not say if mouse or not mouse down and touching mouse pointer. So make sure that our size which is 1200 plus a multiple of the number in here equals this so for example 1200 plus 30 times 2 equals 1260 if this was 1250 it wouldn't work okay so let's just test it out here yeah as you can see it works and looks pretty good but it still looks bland so we're going to add a few more effects but before we do that we're going to say when this sprite clicked change score by score per click and then create a clone of myself now when i start as a clone i want to point in direction 90 and set my size to 400 percent and also by the one clicked add a set size to 1200 percent Okay, then go to X, pick random, minus 200 to 200, and then Y, 180, which is at the top of the screen. And then glide for two seconds to X, X position, Y, pick random, Minus 100 to 0. And after you've done all of this, you can delete this clone. Okay, let's just test it out. And yeah, it comes and it disappears. But that doesn't really look good or realistic. So we'll say when I start as a clone, set ghost effect to zero and in case you don't know what the ghost effect is it's basically a transparency effect so then repeat 
100 times. Chains Ghost Effect by 2.5. And change size by minus three. And turn to the right by pick random one, two, eight degrees. And now when I click, it looks much better. Okay, I'm just gonna hide my score per click since we don't need it right now. And just keep these two variables. Now I'm going to add another effect. When clicked, go to x0, y0, and point in direction 85. Then forever. Get out two repeat loops out, so repeat 10 times, and then repeat 10 times again. Turn one degree to the right, and then turn one degree to the left. And now, as you see, it looks much better. But it still looks a bit bland. So we're going to add this light effect. This is probably the easiest sprite to program. It's just one clicked. Point in direction 90, turn 2 degrees, and put that in a forever loop. Okay, now we've only got one last sprite to code, and that is the background sprite. To code this, we will be using clones. So when clicked, we're going to hide. And when I start as a clone, show. Since it is a backdrop, we're going to go to back layer and repeat 30 times, change x by 3, then repeat until touching the edge, change x by 3 again. So that is the reason we added this repeat 30 times because when it starts, it's touching the edge but we don't want it to end the loop here. So we're going to put it like right here and then repeat until touching edge. Then another repeat loop. So repeat 10 times change X by three. So this is because we don't want it to immediately hide and then delete this clone. Okay, but we haven't even made any clones yet. Okay, so we're going to make a new block called without screen refresh. And we are, of course, going to run without screen refresh. Okay, we're going to put this under here. And we're only going to do this one time. And we're also going to say go to x minus 280, y minus 120. And in without diff define without screen refresh we're going to repeat six times create a clone of myself and change x by 90. the reason we are only doing this once is because we want it to immediately come when you click the green flag and then we can get out of forever loop. So wait 0 0.8 seconds. And then duplicate it for later. Then we're going to say forever. Go to x minus 280y minus 120. Create a clone of myself. And then wait 0 0.8 seconds. And yeah, that should work. Then we go back to the tour sprite to code the high score. So, when clicked, forever, if my score 
is bigger than my high score set my high score to the current score and since this is cloud this will be the highest score ever so when you click the green flag now we can see we've got all these cool effects and yeah and we've got the high score working now it's only going up with the score because we had no high score before this but when we click the green flag again we see that the high score is still there and yeah that's the end of this pervert tutorial. Next time, we will make a shop and make the items.